right, I told you we were coming right back. And now for the most fun part, revising our essays. So on slide 26 of your writing workbook, you're going to see your first conditional checklist. And I'm going to be using this checklist to check my essay to see if I had used my if conditionals correctly. And as you can see, this essay is looking insane. I love it. So the first thing I want to do is identify any if sentences that I used in my essay. And we actually did this last week when we were looking at the supporting details, but I'm gonna do it again just to remind myself. And it's kind of hard to see, but I have underlined my if sentences. And if I remember correctly, I used if clauses in that first body paragraph and my third body paragraph, but I didn't use any in my second body paragraph. It's maybe something to keep in mind. So now what I want to do is I found my if clauses and now I want to check them to see that I have used them correctly. So I'm blowing up my first body paragraph so we can see it a little bit easier. Still kind of hard, but a little bit easier. And we can look to see, did I use my if conditionals correctly? So if we have an argument, a good friend talk with me to solve the problem quickly. So here I'm giving advice to a friend, what you should do to be a good friend. So I had used it correctly for the meaning. So, and I used it to give advice. Did I use it correctly for the form though? So I wanna check first my if clause. If we have an argument, yes, I have used present simple tense and it agrees with my subject we, if we have an argument. Now I want to check my result clause and be sure that I have used a modal verb and an infinitive verb. A good friend talk. Do you see? I missed that modal verb. And as I said, this is giving advice. So I'm going to choose the verb should to give advice to this friend. And there it is. You can see it. If we have an argument, a good friend should talk with me. So now my first body paragraph, I have used the if conditional and I can say yes, I used it correctly to give advice. All right, let's keep going. So my second body paragraph, I did not use an if conditional. So I need to, and you can't see because my head's in the way, but did I, I want to add some if sentences to support my opinion. So if I look at this paragraph, this last sentence here is very long. And my teacher told me it was a run on sentence and she wanted me to fix it. So maybe this is a place where I could add an if conditional. And I see, so tells me a result of an action. So maybe I could break up this sentence so it's not so long and add an if clause showing the result of an action. My idea here is you can enjoy similar activities and do fun things together. That's the result of the action is do fun things together. So let me see, here we go. Here is my solution to my run on sentence problem and I've added an if clause. I'm gonna cut that sentence at the end of a good friend should laugh at the same things, such as the same TV shows, movies, and music. Full stop. And then I'm going to add in my if sentence. If we enjoy similar activities, so there is my action, what is my result? We will spend more time together. Awesome! So my meaning is clear. I've broken up that long sentence. Did I use it correctly? In my if clause, if we enjoy, yes, that's correct use of present simple tense. And then my result clause, we will spend, yes, I have my modal verb, my infinitive verb, and a subject. Awesome, so my second body paragraph is now so much better. And that leads us to our third body paragraph. Now this paragraph, I used quite a few if conditional sentences, so yes, I did, good for me. 
but I want to check if I use them correctly. So, if I have chores at home, here is my action. What is the result? A good friend should helps me. Okay, so it's, it's a little bit of advice as well in there as well. Hmm. So I've used it correctly to give advice and a little bit result of an action, but did I use it correctly? If I have, so that is correct use of present simple in my if clause. Let's look at my results clause. A good friend should help. So, no, I put an S on that verb after a modal. That's not right. It should be an infinitive verb. So I need to correct that. So, but otherwise it looks good. Let's look at my next sentence. If I need something, for example, a phone charger or notebook for class, so far so good. My friend should to buys one. Here I'm giving some advice to my friend, so that's correct, but my form is not correct. Do you see the problem? That's right. Again, I've added a two after my modal verb. Why do I keep doing that? Ugh, I know better. And I added an S on that infinitive verb. Man, I made a lot of mistakes on that one. So I wanna be sure that I correct those. And here I have, I've just taken out those extra little bits. And now, oops, my essay is looking amazing. Now remember, you want to be sure to take a picture and upload your essay, your draft with all of your changes on it for your teacher to see. And remember, if you did not use any if clauses, you must add at least two, maybe three to your essay. We're using this essay to check if you understand the form and meaning of first conditionals. So if you don't use any, we won't know. So please be sure that you add at least two or three if clauses to your essay. All right, everybody, these essays are looking amazing. We are getting very close to the end and are almost ready to write our final draft coming up soon. But let's review what we've done today in this lesson. We looked at Sheikh Khalfan's sentences, his if sentences, showing the results of an action and giving advice to support his opinions about happiness. We also practiced the meaning and structure of if conditionals, and we revised the if conditional sentences in our essays. So if you have any questions, please talk to your teacher. We are here to help you and to guide you as you finish up almost this writing unit. And as always, thank you for another great week of allowing me to guide you in your writing journey. Until next week, bye.